So why play Minecraft PvP? Oh my god, bro. As you can see, I'm not the best when it comes to Minecraft PvP. But I'm somewhat decent at it. In this video, I will teach you the basics of PvP. If you're new to this channel, hello, my name is Sharky. Please consider subscribing because this video took me a lot of time and effort to make. There are three main factors in PvP. Aim, movement and CPS. Aim. If you can't aim at your opponent, you can't hit them. Let me teach you this. In Minecraft you have three blocks of reach. This is why you should always aim at the player their head. Let me explain. If you aim at the player their head, it will be a straight line. This is three blocks, so you can hit them. But if you aim at the player their feet, this will be 3.2 blocks. So you can't hit them. When a player is above you, it's completely different. Here you should always aim at their feet, since this will be 3 blocks. And their head will be 3.2. Now that we got aim out of the way, let's talk about movement. Movement is very important in Minecraft PvP. As you see in this clip, I W tap. But what actually is W tapping? Let me explain. When you start a sprint in Minecraft, you will do the most knockback. W tapping is basically sprint resetting. You release your W key and press it again so you reset your sprint and you do the most knockback once again. In this clip, I'm W tapping. Take a look at my keystrokes. As you can see, I'm releasing and pressing my W key. I'm also sword blocking. In the Minecraft version 1.8.9, you can sword block. You can do this when, by when you're holding a sword, right clicking your mouse. This will once again reset your sprint. Make sure to block your sword when you're pressing W again. Strafing is a pretty important but not that hard part of movement. Strafing is basically moving in unexpected directions to dodge your opponent's hits. In this clip you can see me pressing A and D at random times. This is strafing. Now that we're done with movement, let's finish the last one. CPS. CPS stands for clicks per second. And trust me on this one. You don't need high CPS to combo people. Watch this clip. As you can see, in this combo I'm only getting 1 to 2 CPS. The only thing CPS does is letting you get less KB and sometimes getting double hit. It's even better to play with less CPS when you're starting to learn how to PvP. So you can focus on movement, since this is way more important than CPS. If you want any of these mods used in this video, advise downloading Bad Lion or Luna Client. They also give a very good FPS boost. Now you need servers to practice. My favorite are Ecomc, Mindman and Luna. A piece in description. When playing on any of these servers, make sure to put your debuff time to 10. If your mouse doesn't have any software, don't worry. This will already be set to 10 by default. Now that you know how to PvP, One, let's get practicing. Two, three and four. Can't what you have now. Don't count what you don't.